What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, if you guys have been following the channel at all, you'll know I posted a video a few months ago about the upcoming 2022 Tiguan, which is going to see a pretty significant overhaul externally and internally. Now, the 2021 here, because of that fact, is gonna be a little limited when it comes to the upgraded features. And that's fine, we're used to seeing this type of Tiguan, and very soon we'll see a completely refreshed one, which is going to fit very nicely inside of the Volkswagen lineup. It's gonna pull some of the features and the uh, visual designs from the Cross Sport and the Atlas and things like that. It's, it's gonna look really nice. Now, this does look really nice, don't get me wrong, but as we'll discuss throughout this video, it feels a little bit stale at this point, which makes sense because we've had this generation since 2018. So as I mentioned, we are looking at an SEL Premium R-Line, so you're gonna have some specific R-Line badging right here on the side, as well as the front grill inside in a couple places. So anytime you see that, you know, make sure you know that comes specifically on the R-Line trims. Up front, you've got automatic LED headlights with an adaptive lighting system. You have LED daytime running lights as well, LED taillights in the back. You have front fog lights that are halogen fog lights, but they do have low speed corner illuminating features to them. Under the hood, you've got a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. That's gonna give you 27 miles per gallon highway, 21 miles per gallon city, 184 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque. And as far as the driving experience goes, yes, it is very fun to drive. It's very quick on its feet. It doesn't feel its size. And I think that's a really nice feature. Up front as well, like I mentioned, you've got that R-Line badging here, Volkswagen badging in the center. Now we will definitely get an upgraded Volkswagen badge on 2022, because this one, even with its super clean design, feels a little bit uh, out of date at this point, which is crazy. You've got this kind of silver or chrome accents here on the front grille chrome accents around the headlights, chrome accents down at the bottom. You also have a front facing camera that will work with your overhead view cam system. Parking sensors dotted around so you know how close you are to obstacles as well. Moving on over, you have 20 inch alloy wheels. These are a two-tone machine finish wheel. Really nice design, very clean, simple, very Volkswagen-esque, nothing too crazy there. Moving on back, like I said, R-Line badging, power folding side mirrors with uh, integrated turn signals, blind spot monitoring, and they're heated. You also have cameras up underneath that work with that overhead view camera system. And they will go ahead and fold in when you lock the car and unfold when you unlock the car. So moving on back from that, keyless access here. Put your hand inside here to unlock it. You can open it. The mirror will go ahead and fold out. And then if you want to lock it, you just put your finger on the little button here. And there you go. You've got silver trim that runs around the windows here. Up top, silver roof rails, panoramic tilting and sliding sunroof up top. Absolutely beautiful, I love the look of that. Rain sensing windshield wipers with heated wiper nozzles. Moving on to the back of the vehicle here, you have a standard Tiguan back end here. Hands-free, easy open lift gate. Volkswagen badging again, like I mentioned. This looks outdated, which is hard to say about Volkswagen logos because they it's always been super clean. You've got your LED tail lights here, like I mentioned, four motion all wheel drive, badging, Tiguan badging, SEL badging, rear wiper. Kind of have a little bit of a spoiler here to keep stuff off the back windshield, but you do have this just in case. Parking sensors again, dotted around the back, rear vision camera as well. Up underneath, you've got a very, very spacious trunk here. 37.6 cubic feet with the rear seats up, and if you fold those down, 73.5 cubic feet. So tons of storage space back here in a very spacious compact SUV like this. You've got rubber mats as well, your monster mats. You can drop your uh, second row seats with these levers here. Now this specific model we're looking at here has the third row seating as well. I don't really see the point in it, but if you need third row, you can get it. This has it. The seats are very, very small and very, very compact and it's a tight squeeze, but if you have some small kids, they'll fit back there okay. Up underneath, you've got a cargo shade, a spare tire, all your different tools that you need to change that bad boy. And then you've got your button right here to close the tailgate. That's about it. Let's hop inside. All right, guys, so hopping inside this beautiful Volkswagen cabin, nothing we haven't seen before, right? But that's not a bad thing still. I know we're gonna get a nice visual refresh in 2022, but I still love the look of this cabin. It's very clean, very simple, and a lot of people are gonna like it. Now, this SEL Premium R-Line has some awesome seats here. That's probably one of my favorite parts, 
you have these Safrano and black leather seats. So basically like this orange and black combination. You also get this orange leather here on the door panels as well. It's really unique and it looks really, really good in my opinion. We'll talk more about the seating in a little bit, but let's start up front with this leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Now this is the old style steering wheel. Like I mentioned, again, we're getting so close to an updated Tiguan that we don't really, you know, they're not gonna put a new steering wheel on this one. They're just gonna save that for the full refresh. But there's nothing wrong with this steering wheel. It just looks kind of out of place compared to all the other Volkswagens we've looked at on this channel that have that updated steering wheel design. So this has your uh, adaptive cruise control on the sides. One of the new things for 2021 is the S and the SE. Both got 17 inch wheel options and the SE gets standard adaptive cruise control. So obviously the SEL Premium here is gonna have it, but one thing to note is that SE will now have standard adapt adaptive cruise control as well. So adaptive cruise control on this side, and then you have your voice assistant and your navigation for your digital dash and uh, your you know media controls and things like that. On the other side, R-Line badging because we are in the R-Line here and it is heated like I mentioned. So right past that steering wheel, you get the beautiful Volkswagen Digital Dash. Now I've talked about this ad nauseum in lots of other videos. So if you wanna check those out, I'll have a playlist linked above with all of my Tig One videos. You can go do deep dives on that, but basically nothing's changed for 2021. It's just your standard dash uh, digital with the two gauges that are digital and then the two kind of hardware gauges on the either side for gas and your oil temperature. And you can switch through a couple different custom views using the uh, button here on the steering wheel. You can also have your navigation switch from your infotainment screen here over to the digital dash if you kind of want it more right in view. I don't particularly like in vehicle navigation, but you guys might, and you can definitely put it on the dash there. Lighting controls down here. You've got your Fender premium audio system, some speakers right here on the door panels, mirror controls, window controls. You've got position memory down here for your seats as well. Moving on over, you have an eight inch infotainment center here. This is Volkswagen's um, um, not its newest now, because we've seen that on the ID4. If you guys haven't seen my ID4 video, definitely check the card above, watch it after this video. But I have a full video on the ID4 and its infotainment center, and you'll see in that video where Volkswagen is headed. So this is close, but we're definitely taking another step towards that. So you've got all your radio, Bluetooth, navigation, like I mentioned, your assist systems, media, app connect, so Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, vehicle settings, sound, anything you could possibly want, climate control as well, which again, we're taking more steps towards fully digital climate, I told you guys, and your rear vision camera and your 360 degree, you know, overhead view cam system is all accessible right there. Now, if you guys are interested in all the tech features here inside of Volkswagen, not the Tiguan specifically, but Volkswagens in general, head on over and check out my tech channel, Matt's Tech. I'll have a link above. We talk about uh, all these kind of intricate systems in here in a little more detail, plus other types of technology devices as well. So of a card above, go over there, check it out drop some likes, hit subscribe if you're into it. But moving on down, we have a dual zone climate control system here. Now this has your heated seat options, your heated steering wheel options, individual climate adjustments for driver and passenger, and you also have rear seat vents for backseat passengers. Down from that, you have your connectivity. So you have a 12 volt power outlet, two USB-C ports only. And for the first time ever, I ran into an issue with this because I was gonna try and show you guys CarPlay on the screen, but this is all I've got. Now, even though I couldn't connect my phone using that USB-A port, luckily for 2021, we now have wireless Apple CarPlay, which is absolutely awesome. Wireless Android Auto as well, but I'm an Apple user, so I've got wireless CarPlay now in 2021 models, which is great. I absolutely love that, especially paired with that Qi enabled wireless charging pad. You can just connect your phone via Bluetooth like you normally would, and boom. There we go, access to wireless CarPlay, which is absolutely awesome. As you can see, my phone is not connected via anything and we can use all of our normal navigation apps, maps, ways, whatever we wanna use, our phone, our music apps, any of these different podcasting apps or iHeartRadio, 
Absolutely awesome. You've got your eight speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic and four motion all wheel drive, electronic parking brake. You can turn your auto start stop engine off. You can go straight into your parking cameras just by hitting this button. And then you can change your different driving modes with the drive mode selector here. Nothing new. You guys have seen this a million times if you've seen Volkswagens or Tiguans in general. Inside the center console, you actually don't have any more USB ports or power outlets at all. Just one big empty pocket for storage. Now Volkswagen used to have the ability to look at images and movies using an SD card inserted into the glove box, the little compartment in the glove box. That's not a thing anymore. They got rid of that. So it's just a piece of plastic now. You can't plug anything in. You still have the slots where you can store the SD cards, which I think is kind of funny that they didn't just go ahead and get rid of that. But yeah, you can't look at images. I'm not sure how many people ever did that. If you did that, leave a comment down below. I'm super interested to get a kind of a feel on how many people used to do that. But I mean, with smartphones these days, why would you ever want to do that? But nonetheless, you can't anymore. It's gone. So nothing too interesting at all in the glove box anymore. Up top, you've got an auto dimming rear view mirror, universal home link garage door controls, which is awesome because we're kind of not seeing that in other modern Volkswagens. So we'll see how long that sticks around. But you also have a compass built into this. Up top here, you've got your panoramic sunroof controls. You can move the shade back. You can tilt it. You can slide it all that kind of goodies up there. Dome lights up here. As far as other cabin design elements, it's very muted, very simple, very classy. You have just this, you know, a uh, soft touch kind of rubber that runs around most of the cabin here. On the door panels here, like I mentioned, you have that leather colored in the Safrano color. You have this kind of, um, it's not textured, it's very smooth and glossy, but it's kind of this like faux carbon fiber look to it with these silver accents as well. This runs it throughout the entirety of the cabin over on the door panels as well. So it's a very minimal kind of clean design, but having that pop of orange on these seats really adds some interest to it. Now let's talk about those seats real quick. Like I mentioned, they are a leather seat in a black and a Safrano orange color. They also have some orange accent stitching and some orange trim that runs around different elements of it. They are heated. The driver is a 10-way power adjustable with lumbar support and position memory. And the passenger, new for 2021, is an eight-way power adjustable seat on the SEL Premium. So you do get some nice, uh, more finite adjustments here on the passenger seat in 2021. In the second row as well, you have the same Sofrano orange color. I'm not sure if they're in the third row because they're folded down, but they might be. I'll definitely have a clip here on screen so you can see. Same on the door panels with that orange. You have one USB-C port and one 12 volt outlet in the back along with those rear vents. No heated rear seats, unfortunately. So this is the part of the videos where I usually like to talk about what I hope they do with next year's model, but I don't really have to do that because I already know what they're going to do. So if you guys are interested in seeing what they're going to do in a full comprehensive video, definitely check the card above. I'll have a link to my 2022 Tiguan uh, first look video with the pictures and stuff. And I will be making a video on this channel the second we get one on our lots, regardless of what trim level it is, which will probably be in the fall. But definitely hit subscribe so you do not miss that video. So there are also a plethora of safety systems available here in the Tiguan. And instead of trying to remember them all, I'm just going to read you guys the list because I think that's easier anyway. It's kind of wordy. So if you're interested at all, here are the safety systems that you have here on the 2021 Tiguan SEO Premium. You have front assist, which is forward collision warning and autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian monitoring. Active side assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane assist, light assist for your high beams, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. We talked a little bit about that. Hill hold control and hill descent control, park distance control, front and rear, and that rear view camera system with the overhead view cam as well. So just a plethora of safety features inside the Tiguan. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what do you think about the 2021 Tiguan? Are you ready for that 2022 refresh? As much as I am, I think it's much needed. I love the look of the Tiguan, but Let's just revamp it a little bit here in 2022. So let's have a conversation down in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.